Welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to learn the right settings to back up your photos and videos on Google Photos. In the previous videos, I've talked about Google Photos and why you should use it. Check the comment box to see a link to that video. Alright, go to your Google Photos. Then, there are two ways to back up your Google Photos. Manually and automatically. So to back up your photo manually, select the photo or video you want to back up, click on it, you can select them, then see backup, you can then click on backup, then it will back up the photo or videos you selected. Then to back up your photos and videos automatically, this is what you need to do. Go to your Google Photo Settings. That this, click on this icon above. Then click on Photo Settings. There you can see the backup is off. I'm going. I'm going to turn it on now. The backup is off, so I'm going to turn it on. Then click on it. Then turn it on. Then scroll down under settings. We're going to make it some settings for the automatic backup. So if we click on this backup quality, then you can select any of this original quality or storage saver. If you choose original quality, what this is going to do is going to back up your your photos and videos in its original form. The disadvantage of this is that it's going to take more space. On your Google Photos account, but if you choose storage saver, it will reduce the quality of your videos or photos, but it will accommodate more of photos and videos. So, what you're going to choose depends on what your preference is. So, choose any of these, then after that, go back, then you have mobile data usage. Click on mobile data usage. You can you have the option to select no data, 5 MB, 10 MB, and unlimited. What is does is if you choose 30 MB, what's going to happen is it will back up every day. It's going to back up your photos or videos, even no more than 30 MB. Once it reaches 30 MB. It will stop packing up so you can or you choose unlimited if you choose unlimited what is going to happen is it will pack up unlimited photos on your device or limited photos on your device to save your data you can choose on okay you want it to be you want it to download 30 mb to use 30 mb of your data every day then you have backup videos over data. If you want it to back up your videos over data, which I don't recommend because videos are usually in a large size. So it's still, it's still up to you to decide that. Then ignore backup wire roaming. Then go back. Then you have backup device folder. I recommend you, you select this. Because if you don't select this, what Google Photos is going to do is to pack up all photos or videos on your device, on your device from any folder. What you're going to do is to select the most important folder on your device, that is where you mostly get pictures from. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select my camera because I usually use my camera to snap pictures. So I'm going to click on this, turn it on, so it should pack up pictures for my camera. Another place which I can get pictures from, or where my, I, I have important pictures, I can get important pictures, is my Zender. My Zender image, because I can get, I can snap, I can snap picture with someone, and the person will send it through Zender to me. So I can click on, is already on, I'll turn it on. So it's not left to you to select the most important 
folder on your device you want google photos to back up photos or pictures if you don't do this it will back up photos from all folders on your mobile device so go back so we are done with this so we'll go back to the settings then we have group similar faces group similar faces i'm going to leave this the way it is we are not going to touch this this group similar faces is responsible for the organized nature of google photos it arranged photos according to faces you see it these are the faces that's the importance of group similar faces for location we want to leave location the way it is but what location does is Whenever you take picture with your mobile device, what Google Photo does is to save that picture according to the location where you snap it. So for this to happen, it means your location need to be on. Then for partner sharing, that is you want to share your picture with someone. So click on partner sharing then you can choose just starting that you want to send your pictures all your pictures to the person you can leave it the way it is or you want to select a particular photos then you click on all these photos containing selected people then after that you click on select partner then put the email of the person you want to share the photo with put the email right here then it will send an invitation to the person and person can see the photos which you have shared with him or her so that is how to pack up your google photos and videos manually and automatically and also you've learned how to set up google photos if you enjoyed this video please like this video and if you have any question, comment below. I'll answer every question you should ask. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.